Hi, this is the second video helping you to understand how to use a full license holder on your part three or standards check, if that is your preferred or only option. And when I say full license holder, I mean somebody who has at least a couple of years of on-road driving experience as an independent driver. Um, you can trust them and rely on them to turn up for the test and you feel comfortable in interacting with them. Uh, that's essential. If you haven't watched the first video yet, please check that out as well. Um, you can find the link to it up here or in the description below. Hi, as you probably know by now, I'm Jeff. I've been a grade A uh, instructor and driving instructor trainer for over 17 years. And I'm passionate about helping uh, trainee driving instructors, fully qualified instructors and learners which I do via this channel and also my online training courses where I go a lot, lot deeper. So please hop over to advancedadi.co.uk when you get the chance. Uh, right, so on to tip number seven. Break the assessment drive down into two or three roughly equal sections uh, with a short reflective break in between each section where you can have a conversation uh, with the uh, driver or the candidate, um, explore what has been learned in the previous section, and then use that as a basis to decide on how you're gonna focus your support to the driver in the next section. Those conversations should only be around about three to five minutes each. Tip number eight, don't go into instructor mode when the wheels get rolling and try to deliver a driving lesson in order to impress the examiner. It won't. Um, your candidate already knows how to drive, uh, so please resist the temptation to try to give them any form of driving lesson. Tip number nine, encourage your driver or your candidate to self-assess uh, their own performance whenever you have a planned stop and a reflective conversation. It's important for you to use open questions such as, how would you assess your own driving in the last 15 minutes? Or perhaps, was there anything that you felt um, you could have done either better or differently? Uh, pick up and mention all of the driving faults you've noticed, just briefly, and then focus on maybe just one or two of the priorities that you feel are the ones that are most important that you help the driver with in the next section of the assessment drive. Uh, these should be the ones that you consider, through your experience and knowledge, uh, present the highest degree of risk both to the driver and other road users. Tip number 11, uh, support the driver and give them constructive feedback, but don't give them false praise uh, because that won't impress the examiner and will certainly cause you to lose marks. And finally, uh, tip number 12, at the end of the session or towards the end of the session, uh, get the driver's honest feedback on how they felt the session went uh, in terms of anything that stood out for them in terms of the improvement in their driving standards or even perhaps things that perhaps didn't go as well as they wanted. Now, this can be done back at the test center, but if you realize you're running a little bit of short on time, uh, because you're using a full license holder, you should be able to do this safely on the move as well. So that wraps up my uh, top 12 tips for using a full license holder, either on a standards check or your part three test, and I hope you found that useful. If you do have any uh, questions, please leave them in the comments below. Um, and please, if you do like our content, take a moment to like and subscribe. That would be really appreciated. Uh, thanks as always, and keep safe. Bye.